Wow, I can't believe we're up to day 20 of my series, 30 Ways in 30 Days. And on day 20, I'm so excited to share what I think is my number one tip when it comes to natural migraine prevention. And actually, almost every patient who comes through my door uh, with a history of migraine gets told this one tip, and that is to take a magnesium supplement, yes. So yesterday I talked about the importance of magnesium and what are some great food sources of magnesium, um, but supplementation has been shown in people with migraine to be very effective in reducing the frequency and severity of symptoms. So again, almost every single one of my patients gets put on a magnesium supplement, typically for at least three months to start, and then we reevaluate at that point. Um, if it's not working, we'll change the formulation. If it's working, then we'll continue for a little bit longer to get some added benefits. So the next question is, which formulation is best? There are so many out there, how do you choose? Well, the number one thing is, look for a chelated form of magnesium. So chelated means that the magnesium molecule is bound to either an amino acid or an organic acid. And that helps it get absorbed into the bloodstream, get to the brain, and also it causes less side effects like GI issues like loose stools or diarrhea and cramping. So chelated is best. Um, you can get, again, glycinate, threonate, or my new favorite, which is malate. So the magnesium is bound to a uh, molecule of malic acid. Malic acid is important for energy production by mitochondria, and we know that energy production is deficient with people with migraine, but it also helps with pain.